So what exactly are the one, twos, and threes of using the Apple Card? That actually is an advantage to you. Well, basically what it is, is it's the 1% for using the physical card, 2% for using Apple Pay in various locations, and 3% for using the Apple Card for Apple products, or Apple products online, or at select locations that give you 3% cash back. Those three cash back percentages may not be super high like other credit cards. And if you're that kind of person, well, Apple Card's not for you. But that 3%, percent one two three that you're gonna get back as cash is great for the average consumer or the Apple fan because it's money coming back. You're gonna make the expenses anyways. No one recommends making expenses and buying a lot of things. But if you're gonna pay anyways, why not get something back for it? The best part about these three percentages that you're gonna get back with the Apple Card is you can use it immediately if you want to. You can pay off your Apple Card or when Apple creates their high yield savings account, you can save it. Saving it is probably the smartest thing to do. This is how the Apple Card makes you smart because you get these 3% cash back and it goes into your Apple Cash and you can save it and it earns money. Now, it may not earn thousands of dollars here and there, but if you keep doing this continuously, month after month after month, year after year, you're gonna notice this gigantic chunk of savings within your Apple Cash or the savings account, and you're gonna be amazed at how you have $1,000, $2,000, whatever it is, all saved up from your average regular expenses. This is why this one, two, three of the Apple Card is extremely important and is something that I believe every Apple Card user should be doing. Now, I understand you may have a low credit limit, and yes, you'll have to use your Apple Card several times, that's basically what I'm doing, to build your credit up, to make sure you have no more credit card expenses or bills that are too high, and every three months, keep requesting a credit limit. The higher your credit score goes, the lower your expenses are, the higher you can get that, that credit limit. If you get the credit limit up to 10,000 or higher, then yeah, you can use your Apple Card solely as your single card, build that those cash back because you're gonna continuously get that one, two and 3% cash back, put in that savings account and you will see the money grow. So then not only do you have the smart Apple Card with the smart wallet and you're earning this cash back, but you're saving a ton on the end. So this is that one, two, three method of using the Apple Card you're not gonna get with any other credit card. And I hope this is something that um, informed you and helped you understand it better because this is what I'm doing with the Apple Card and this is what hopefully you can start doing with the Apple Card and we'll win in the end. Then we don't have any more credit card debt and no one wants credit card debt. So treat your credit cards like cash, utilize your Apple Card, Get your 1% cash back. Make sure you follow me here and give it a thumbs up because as soon as that high yield savings account comes out, you'll be notified and you'll know exactly all about it once I give you a video on it. All right, thank you for watching and good luck with the Apple Card.